You know, drawing a curved road is hard. But in today's video, I'm going to show you a way by using simple points that you could make that curve look like it's going back in perspective. I'm glad you're here. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Come on, let's get to work. First thing I like to do is to create some type of border. Just this is going to give me some type of uh, like boundary to draw to. Let's go ahead and start putting some markers on our on our picture here that will be guidelines. Let's start off with the top left here and just get this angle angle of the mountains way in the back there okay and the first thing the first mark I want to put is is right right over here on the edge of my paper let me show you what we're looking at here we're looking somewhere like right there okay that that's that's essentially what I'm looking for right there this is this here is about the center see that that's about the center of the uh, of the picture here so our road is going to come way over here so let's Let's also drop that marker in here as well. So that's about the center. So I'm going to come way over here. Okay. Look at the shape right there. I can see that it's going to come above. Just that general shape. Keep it light too. Keep it light. This is this is what we're shooting for. That that little point right there in our drawing okay and so that's gonna be maybe right about there right about there look at look at this right here you see this see that bottom of the bush right there you see that I draw a straight line going across here like this 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 tells me about how big this post needs to be you see that we're just looking to try to get pieces. And it's a slight angle as well. Look at look at this shape. Look at that negative space. You see that? Keep these. Trust what you see. Okay, we have another one behind that. <clears throat> now, watch this. If if I if I already establish All right, so this is this is the tip of my road right there. Just trust yourself now. It's just going to curve around like this. It's a very slight curve. Go to the bottom of this post right here, the bottom of that post. Now watch this. Keep these light, light guides here, okay? Let's look for the edge of the road. Right there, you see that? So it's going to be right about there, maybe. Maybe a little further. And this also is going to come around like this. Just Curve it around. 
Look at this right here. This is the middle. That's the middle of the road. Okay. That's our middle. Let's mark that off as well. It's going to be over here. Just lightly put some guides there. We've got a nice grouping of, of four posts. Keep this light. We'll come back and add some more value to these, but for right now, we can just group those like that and we've got another interesting grouping interesting grouping coming back over here okay I'm gonna I'm going to erase some of this lines here just a bit. Let's get the second hill back here and it's it's going to land right about there. So let's Look at this right there. You see all that all that grass? Look at that angle right at that point right there. You see that? This is what I'm envisioning in my head as I'm drawing this. I'm, I'm using these lines of measurement to get my proportion right. All right, so there's this other hill there. You see that? I'm going to erase this now. All right, let's get this house in place. Now the first thing with this house, I'm going to look for the corner. So let me show you. I try and find the corners of the house. So there's one corner. There's that other corner. That's a nice relationship. And I've got that one over there. Okay. So let's see. So we've got that right there. There's that one there, and there's the other one. Looks pretty good. Looking at the side of my house here, I, it's kind of coming in at an angle there. It's coming across. No, it's not dead center. It's going to be off center just a little bit. And this one I'm going to wing. Wing it. That's going back to a vanishing point, so you want to keep it kind of. Uh, this is going to go back to the same vanishing point as this is. You see that? I think we got this with the measurements. You could take a look and uh, we could have enough in now that we can get our proportion right. Hey, it's Kurt. Hey, really quickly, jump down there in this video and give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. Or better yet, subscribe to the channel. Or even better yet, leave a comment. I always love to hear what you're thinking. All right, let's get back to work. Okay. We have another 
little house over here on the hill and same thing draw your corners All right, we got our, let's put this tree in right here and it's almost, we're just going to get the edge here just a bit. And you could probably drop a tone on it. We almost have all of the guides or pieces in place here. So I think it's time to start adding some value to our picture. Hey Jamie, good to see you tonight. Let's add some value to our picture here. So as you're drawing these trees, these pine trees in the background, you know, they're just like triangles, almost triangles like with, with a round edge. So Let's just slowly really carefully look at our picture. Don't overdo it. Yep, just adding tone here. There's another cropping of trees in the back there. There's another, I'm going to drop another value on, on this bit of trees back here. Go slowly, no rush here. Adding some value to the top right. I'm going to disregard this uh, this house here. The the one that's uh, let's see. Adding some tone to the side of my building. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's add tone now to the whole bottom part of our build, of our picture here. And I'm just gonna very lightly add a very even amount of tone across the whole bottom part of my drawing.
just add overall tone to your whole picture at the bottom. So we're going to leave the top, top white, top area up there nice and white. Or whatever is the color or the tone of your paper. Next thing I want to do now is I'm going to squint my eyes. I'm going to look very, I'm going to really squint my eyes. Take my glasses off here and squint them. And what you want to do now at some point in your picture is ask yourself where are the darkest darks and where are the lightest lights? And then you want to just, you don't want to, you want to, don't be afraid to put those dark darks in. So let's start doing that. All right. So let's, I'm going to, I think, I think the darkest point in my picture here is, is this post. And then we've got another post right here. This is also very dark. Dark shape, dark shadow underneath here. You see that? And of course, this, this post over here is also very dark. Okay, so now looking at our line of posts, you can see as the posts go further back in space, they get lighter and lighter. So we want to be aware of that, okay? Don't, don't overdo it. All right, I'm going to work on some of this foliage, foliage here. And looks like we've got a nice leaf coming in there. How I'm drawing these leaves, I'm, I'm just going to push down and pull up. Push down and pull up. I get, I get a nice, nice little line like that. And I'm really, I'm just kind of looking at the shape. The shape of some of these leaves. Using both line and value. really want to make this random. Be careful of patterns.
and all, all I'm doing is I'm drawing these things. I'm, I am thinking of like odd shapes and I'm extremely careful. I'm concentrating not to make a pattern. When I say pattern, what's going to happen is your brain's going to want to bring order to what you're drawing. And if you don't try and go the opposite way, you'll, you'll end up like this. Okay. All right. I got some, I, I see some like yellow, yellow grass going on in this, in, in between those areas there. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to bring in some faint grasses in here. Grouping them. And this this hill over here has some value to it. I'm going to add surface lines to create that value. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's come back and take a look at our road here. So this, this is going to be much darker in value and creating surface lines here. Then I'm going to just create some weeds. Squint my eyes, I could go even darker than this. making little grass strokes by pushing and pulling up and then horizontal lines to establish this flat plane here. Squint my eyes some more and I could see some really variation in value coming alongside this road here. So let's kind of see what we come up with. Look at the contrast here. We have to really weave that. Let's see, where are we? We're right here. Okay, got to come back and Make adjustments, don't 
you really got to ask yourself where where this stuff is and trust what you see and not what you think. And some little bits of texture. All right, let's come over here now and work some of this foliage and looking for them my darker darks really concentrating here Start trying to get the negative shapes to uh, use those. Building up this tree on the right hand side here. This is going to help frame this road here. Really just kind of making marks that are following the surface of leaves, the looking for a negative the negative shapes, the silhouettes of what I think these leaves might be over here. Just taking the time to get this, uh, the edges here of this road and the weeds. This, this is I'm using some surface lines that are slightly concave.
Okay. Let's get a little more detail in this house now. This is really going to be dark over here on the side. Just put in a slight scribble for my This looks like where he's got all of his firewood saved up, right? Let's get some trees that start to build this these values back way back here and don't get them too dark because we want to we want to use atmospheric perspective that means objects that are further away are lighter in value lighter in value than the ones that are close Just going slowly and building this up. I'm even going back over it to create a consistent value. And you can add some variation to it. There's a bit of a shine to this roof, so I'm, I'm just going to color around it, add value around it. I'm going to avoid that car that's in the driveway there. That shiny mass. In that little window there, this is what I just did. Let's just say you have this window. Okay, there's a window. And there's like this even tone in the window you see this now all i'm going to do is come up here and add an in interesting shape at the top end of the window that's going to create like you know is there is there activity or is there something going on the inside there Right, getting this next layer of trees coming in here. Another grouping of trees in front of those.
Okay, I'm squinting now. I'm going to take a second and just squint my picture. And boy, I can already tell you that the whole bottom half here is too bright. So this this is all got to be toned back. It's got to be all toned back. Yeah, don't don't be afraid to tone things back. Yeah, it's looking much better now. But even down here, this is really dark in value. I'm going back and forth, horizontal strokes here. Right, that's, that's looking much better, but even that can come in much darker. Okay, let's get this, I'm going to tone in this uh, ridge up here just a little bit more. Squinting. I even think, man, I think these got them all coming darker. Wow. And I'm going to start shading in the direction of these mountains. looking there not bad not too shabby I'm gonna add some pebbles Just trying to add some texture down here in the road. Almost like these little scallops. So it's like almost the shadow 
underneath these uh, pebbles. All right, I think that's going to do it tonight. So let me take a step back and look at that. Yeah, that's not too bad there. Yeah, when you know when we squint our eyes and start really looking at value, it really creates it really creates a nice nice drawing. In fact, man, I just don't make my stuff dark enough. I think that's a I think that's a common problem with all of us. afraid to go darker but man that's what these things need sometimes to trust let's see that is uh, I think this should be darker over here yeah make sure you put these in Facebook group I gotta I gotta see how everyone is doing. Okay, I think that's it. Boom, I could just keep noodling away at this with no end in sight. But hey, that's what we do, right? My name is Kurt, I'm a dad who draws. Uh, you guys are the best. Post your work in Facebook group. If you're not part of a Facebook group, join us. There's a link down in the description. And that's what we got. See y'all later. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Curved roads, then try this one up here. Or if you're looking for something down at the seashore, here's a great boat one. All right? Go out there. Make your day great.